Welcome, 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 TBW Clips. I am Tyson. Today, today, we thought $20 an hour was too much. They're now asking for $25. Let's see why. This is out in California. The 1st of May celebrates International Workers' Day, drawing millions of workers throughout the world to the streets, demanding fair pay and better working conditions. Here in San Diego, hundreds of service workers, from cooks to janitors to hotel staffers, took part. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on the specific demand they're making and the support they're receiving. And this May Day, workers here are calling on the city of San Diego to mandate a minimum wage of $25 an hour for service workers. This makes sense. I know you guys are going to say $25 an hour is way too much, and you're completely correct. $20 an hour is too much. However, these service workers, are these are not minimum wage jobs. I would say these are a step above minimum wage jobs. And since they're paying um, minimum wage jobs $20 an hour, you have to raise the price of you have to yeah raise raise the um the price for other people who are not doing minimum wage jobs you have to pay them more so now like almost every job we have is a minimum wage job that's not true these service workers this is not minimum wage job cooks it's not minimum wage jobs so it's fair in the sense that they're paying, um, what is it, fast food workers $20 an hour. It's fair that people who are doing work that is not minimum wage work are asking for more money. That makes sense in that, in that type of um, sense. You guys follow me? Let's keep going. wages for thousands of employees at local hotels, the convention center, and event centers like Petco Park and Snapdragon Stadium. Raising their signs and their voices, hundreds of San Diego service workers marched through downtown San Diego, demanding a nearly 50% increase in the current citywide minimum wage of $16.85 an hour. Among them, Juan Carlos, a cook at the Hilton Bayfront. We're fighting for janitors, we're fighting for uh, hospitality. We're yeah, because I don't think that's fair. So they're, they're making $16 an hour, which is minimum wage, while fast food workers are making $20 an hour. They have every right to ask for more money because their job demands more, right? Not so much demands more, but it's a higher paying uh, job. It's not a minimum wage job. Now, is that good for the economy? No, this is gonna, this is gonna crush, especially if they get it, which they should get it. They should be paid more than minimum wage. You make minimum wage $20, you got to raise the rate of pay of everybody else. Sucks for the economy. That's why you don't do $20 an hour. It's ridiculous. Hey, Paul, stage hands, you know, all these people are behind the scenes making it happen, making things happen for everyone's entertainment. I think we should be compensated a little more for our work. Marching from Bayfront Park in front of the Hilton through the streets to the Civic Center. workers pointed to the recently passed pay hike for California's fast food workers. If McDonald's can make $20 an hour and we bust our butts and we're running around taking care of tables and taking care of our customers, why can't we? Exactly. Hard, a single exactly. Of three young kids works at Petco Park's Lexus Club and struggles to make her $3,600 a month rent. I got scraping just to pay my, my bill. And you know what's going to happen? The cost of living is going to go higher. The more you pay people unjustly, it's it's not it's okay. It's like a a cat take chasing his tail, right? Um, the um, price of cost of living goes higher because of that. You raise wages. 
You raise wages. The reason why cost of living is higher because wages are so high. So it's like a circle. It's like a circle. You raise wages, what's going to happen? $3,600 a month is going to turn into $4,000 a month, $4,500 a month. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. My rent, everything. It's really hard. The gringos don't want to pay you, then they can clean the buildings themselves. <laughs> Gonzalez is chief officer of the California Labor Federation, representing more than 2 million workers statewide. We know in San Diego the rent's too high and wages are too low. She's hopeful that San Diego City Council will consider this proposed wage ordinance for $25 an hour for service workers. It's time that we really lift up these workers who, all during the pandemic, we called essential. We relied on them. They continue to do work. Service workers, people who keep us happy, keep the tourism economy going it's time to pay them what they deserve well there's no definite timeline now that this proposed ordinance has been drafted workers here are hopeful that city council will consider it and vote on it as soon as possible so there you have it guys um huge mistake raising the minimum wage to twenty dollars an hour this is going to have a, a, an effect that is going to further cripple the economy of california i think um newsom just came out with a new budget i think um that budget is um cut has a lot of cuts in it but they're going to raise the prices are still going to be um, high, high gas, high rent, everything high because you're overpaying people. You have too much regulations. So do these guys um, are just, are these guys justified to ask for $25 an hour? Absolutely. Because they're paying minimum wage people working at McDonald's $20 an hour. Is it good for the overall economy? No. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. You guys let me know down in the comments if you guys think I'm wrong. And I appreciate you guys watching and you guys have a great day.